It's about time you woke up. Who are you? I'm an undertaker. A ferryman across the river Styx. More commonly known as, well, the Angel of Death. But I think, uh, let's see, John. Yeah, John. John will be more transitional for you. What? Did I start? No, I heard you, but you're obviously not right in the head. <laughs> I don't think you're properly comprehending what I'm saying here. You, my friend, are... How do I say this? Um, dead. Kaput. Gone. And this is your welcoming to the afterlife. No, no I, I can't be dead. Here we go. Just tell me what's going on. Come for a walk. It's not quite white wings and fluffy clouds, but it's nice enough. Nice enough? Then why the hell don't you say? You know that word's kind of taboo here, right? Then why the heck? Here you go. Don't you sound like you like it? <sighs> because I have to put up with this crap 24-7. Honestly, you guys kind of ruin it for me. I have to put up with the whinging and the moping and look, you're just dead, okay? Deal with it. Deal with it? You are kind of a dick. Yeah. What about my life? What about everything I've left behind? Everyone I've left behind? My mum? My dad, Elise? I can't just leave them, I have to go back. Look, I get it, okay? But you have to play with the cards you've been dealt. And well, in your defence, you've been dealt a pretty shit hand. Everyone I love is hurting because I'm dead. Do you know how that feels? Who am I kidding? You've probably never felt anything in your life, have you? Whatever the fuck it is you call this existence. Can you just accept the fact that you're dead? Nobody ever can. You know, the sooner you accept this, the sooner we can move on with our... Well, our existences. You've never felt love, have you? You cold, condescending son of a bitch. I was alive, right? Bullshit, you fucking... I was! Scared as you are. Bit of a nightmare. And I see it every day. The moping and the whinging. And yes, your loved ones will mourn, but I think you're forgetting the crucial factor here that every decent being will end up here eventually, and what would you like no time? Right now. Just take me back. Thank you. You didn't let me finish. I can offer you a solution. But, but, if I do, then balance must be struck. Where a life is resurrected, one must also be taken off. It could be a murderer or a pedophile, or it could be a mother or a father, a child or an infant. It could be your mother or father, right? not least. Who it is, I don't know, it happens at random. But if you do this, you let someone else back in that world die. with yourself knowing that you killed some innocent little woman or child? Mike? I don't smoke. Jason, what harm can it do? Smoking kills. Right. Already dead. Mm. No. I know you want to go back. But when I died, I made the choice to do so. I'm paying back that debt in an eternity of service. An extra 50 years of life for a forever of servitude and loneliness to make up for the life that I ended. I have that weight with me forever because I put myself before everyone else in the world. So tell me. Do you? There's just so much I never got to do. So much I never got to see. 
when I went back, yes, I did see some new places and met some new people, but I didn't even do close to a quarter of what I wanted to do. I ended up panicking about when my time would be up again, and I just pushed so many people away. You don't want to do that. I'll stay. I'll, I'll just stay. So what now? You go and say goodbye. I thought this was all meant to be easier. So much for a better place. Now you've said goodbye, I think you'll find that it is. Come on. There's just so much to take in. It's been a long day. <laughs> 